Hey, what's up, Chitheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to show you some of the differences between my first edition, Esos 5 Star, to my friend here who just bought not only one, but two brand new 5 Stars. I want to show you the differences in the brakes and the uh, suspension linkage and all that shit. Anyways, guys, you want to sit around and make some more small talk or you want to get right into it? Come on, let's get right into it. So here we have it, guys. GT350 in the background. I, I bought that as well. You know, you guys clicked on my links enough where I was enabled to just buy this in cash. So yeah, don't feel bad for me, guys. It's a YouTube life of just so much money. I don't even know what to do with it. But anyways, check it out. Here's my first edition Esos 5 Star. You can see I've gotten quite a bit of use out of mine. Let's look at the new one. Check it out. Now look at this. First thing that pops on this, look at that super bright blue paint job. Man, that looks really nice. I have to say, I saw this on, online multiple times, but seeing it in person, I really like this color. However, if this was me, I would definitely opt to get the gold wheels with the blue paint. I think it looks really nice with that combination. However, my friend chose poorly and he has black wheels, whatever. You know, that's neither here nor there. But anyways, first thing I wanted to go over, one of the biggest upgrades on this bike from my first edition five star is these Tektro four piston hydraulic brakes. These things feel really nice. Check it out down here. It's got the same 203 millimeter front rotor with the four piston caliper here. You guys won't be able to tell from uh, behind your screen, but the pedal, the handle feel on this just feels so much firmer and uh, it feels way better than the handles on my old five star here. You can see, even see how far it goes in here and check out the new one. Man, this is just really nice feeling handle here. So as I mentioned in my review video, um, the shock on the mine, if you have it turned around the other way, the dial on the front of it will end up hitting the battery upon full compression. So that has been rectified in the new ones and I'll show you here that they clearly, they have changed the linkage. So check out here. We're looking about three and a half inches from bolt hole to bolt hole right there. And we'll go over here to the new one and right about three inches. So they definitely changed the linkage on this bike here where the uh, knob hitting is no longer going to be an issue. So good job for E-cells. They listened to the feedback and they made the change that they said they were going to make. You know, initially I thought that they were going to have a 203 millimeter rotor in the rear. However, both of these bikes have 180 millimeter rotors in the rear, the same as my first edition 5 Star. One other thing I'd like to point out, however, is if you look here, my 5 Star has a nice 5 Star decal. And on the new ones, that seems to be missing. So I don't know if that's something that's uh, on all these bikes going forward or perhaps just this batch doesn't have the stars, but the stars are missing on both of these new ones. You know, another thing that seems to be a hot topic these days is frame wobble. And I wanted to show you if there is there any frame wobble on the ESOS 5 star? Well, let's check it out. Well, here, guys, this is my first edition bike. Let's see here. No, oh, that's as solid as can be. No wobble whatsoever. Interesting. Oh, no, I'm just pointing that out. No, I'm not. Hey, that's not a subtle dig at anybody. Let's see on the new one here. Huh. Feels pretty solid to me. So here's my friend here that actually bought both these bikes. He got these just before the tariffs were increased and so he ended up getting these for $18.95 each. And by the way, which coupon code did you use? Uh, it was uh, LAT100. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Another one of the big changes and one I'm really liking is uh, the through axle. So here's mine. My first edition has a quick release. Quick release is great for, you know, lighter, smaller bike. Not so much for a bike that can do 40 miles an hour. These can come loose. They can be pretty dangerous. Not a fan. The newer ones have a nice through axle here. So you bolt these down. This thing isn't going anywhere. Much safer, a little less convenient for removing the wheel, but these are much safer, much better option for a higher speed e-bike. All right, here we are on the new updated Esos 5 Star. I have to say, you know, right away, it feels pretty much the same as mine. However, these has his upgraded four piston hydraulic brakes. Let's see how they feel in action here. Whoa, yeah, these brakes have 
significantly more bite than the uh, brakes on my first edition five star. Wow, that's like kind of shocking. Those brakes feel nice. And you know, let's see here. Come on, wobble. That's weird. It's like it doesn't want to wobble at all. But I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, it's not wobbling because you don't have any weight in the rear rack. All right, well, let's see if we can uh, make it wobble with the weight on the rear rack. It's weird. Huh. Look, Mom, no hands. Look, no hands. Hey, guys. Mm. Look at me in my new five-star with four piston brakes. Aren't you so special? <laughs> that was a cool trick. Tricks. Tricks are for kids. I'm a landscaper, guys. Look, I'm a landscaper. <laughs> oh, one thing I do really notice, though, on this bike is the chain slap issue I completely forgot about. The chain makes a significant amount of noise on the stock version of this bike, whereas the uh, clutch derailleur does a great job of eliminating most of the chain slap noise. Let's see if we can demonstrate that. So watch on this one. I'm gonna just go off this curb here. You hear that? Now listen when he goes off the curb on his bike. You hear that? So definitely the clutch derailleur has been a really nice upgrade. Honestly, that's all I've really done to this bike. And uh, no complaints, I would really like the four piston Tektro brakes though. I'd rather have those over the clutch derailleur. So anyways guys, if you order one of your new Ecells 5 stars, you're gonna get a whole bunch of upgrades that weren't available when mine was released. And guys, look, I'm not bitter about it at all. You know, I'm actually happy he has better brakes and a, a through axle and I don't. It makes me feel happy for him. All right, guys, there you have it. Just want to show you some of the differences you get from the first edition of the Ecells 5 Star and the current model you get if you ordered one today. Guys, remember, if you're interested in ordering one of these, please, please, please use coupon code CHIT100. You know, I got to pay for all this stuff. Guys, I'm in extremely large amounts of debt. But anyways, guys, I uh, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, catch you in the next one. We'll see you next time.